Welcome back to part three of the Construct 2 tutorial, Creating a Breakout Clone. In this part, we're going to add some special effects, specifically to the ball, and we're going to represent the different states using different images for the ball. So, first thing I'm going to do is right-click and edit animations on the ball. I'm going to add some new animations. I'm going to add a total of five different states the ball can be in. Say I'll open an image. And a small image. Let's see. The next animation. I'll use a large one. This next animation, this will be my fireball effect, so a red ball. For this last animation, I'll load a blue colored ball. And I'll rename each of these. So I'll name the first one normal. The next one I'll rename as small. Next one I'll rename as large. I'll call the next one fire. This last one, rename as through, the through ball. All right, like a way to easily access these, so I'll add some, quote, cheat codes. I'm going to insert a new object, keyboard object, head over to the event sheet, and over to keyboard. If key is pressed, click one. In that case, I want to switch the state of the ball. Set the animation to normal. Let's see, I'll select this whole event by clicking on the left. Copy, paste, 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 paste. And I'll just edit all these real quick. Key two. Key three. Key four, key five. All right, and these I want to activate. Let's see this small animation. It'll just be harder to hit, make it more challenging. The large animation, it's kind of like a bonus. Fireball animation, my personal favorites. It's going to cause bricks to explode. And this last one, the through animation, instead of bouncing off a brick, it's going to continue going through. All right. Next, I need to add some more sprites. Let's see. Insert new object, sprite. Let's see, this is again going to be from a sprite strip. So I'm going to add my explosion. It was three across and four down. I can get rid of this first one. I'm going to speed up the animation. Make that maybe 18 frames a second. A sprite I will rename Explosion. I'm going to add an effect. I'm going to make it additive. It makes it look more like a real explosion. The black kind of disappears, and all you see is the white highlighted part. Let's see. I'm just going to add a behavior. And have it fade out, which might not make a whole lot of sense, but it's an easy way to make it self-destruct without adding a second event. So, after waiting for a second after it appears, it'll fade out, and it'll destroy itself. The animation will be finished by then. Alright. Edit animations. I'm going to take this and duplicate it. And down here, I'm going to import a new sprite strip. Duplicate it just so I don't have to set the speed and everything to be the same. This time, notice I'm adding a blue one. Get rid of all my red frames just by pressing delete. All right. I should rename these as well. Oops. Not rename this, but edit animations. Rename this as red. Rename the other one as, you guessed it, blue. All right. Next, when the ball hits a brick, not only do I want to destroy the brick, but I want it to blow up if it's in fire mode. So I'm running out of time on this one, so we'll go on to part four next.